Anyway, listen, Fern Cotton is in the building, but it's time now for my first guest. Now, he's conquered the West End and Broadway on numerous occasions. He starred in everything from Les Miserables to Aspects of Love, even Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, which I myself did a little turn in. That's a child catcher. No, 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 plus, thank you. It's an Olivier winning award. I know, I know. And he's done it again. He's winning rave reviews, and I mean rave. You know what these, these West End critics are like? Talk about misery on poverty's back. They wouldn't give praise if you slapped it out of them. But they have. They've given him rave reviews for playing Edna Turnblatt in the massive hit musical Hairspray. And he's even found time to record a new album, Back to Baccarat, which has got anyone who had a heart on it. <laughs> Will you please welcome the one and only Mr. Michael Ball. Let me hear you. <laughs> Oh, I've done your books. I've been wondering when you're going to come in and see me. It's been ages, isn't it? It's been ages. Yeah. Listen, congratulations. I am having the time of I my life. I can see that. I I've can never see it. ever enjoyed myself so much. How fabulous yeah, is that? Eh? Yeah, it's been it's been a hell of a year. Um, started off with a tour. I did a, another show in in the, the West End at the ENO, and now I'm doing Hairspray. And you know, I've done a number of shows. I in know you have. And I have. Never worked with a nicer company, with a better creative team, had better reviews, and I'm in a frock. <laughs> Do you like and it? I, I, I know why you did it. Paul. I did for the money. Like, yes. yes. It's the power. There no, is absolutely no. a power yeah. that happens when you put when a man puts on drag. Yeah. Uh, every, the, the people react differently. Yeah, they do. And, yeah. and uh, uh, the way I'm, I'm doing Edna when I'm on stage, it's absolutely real. I don't plump, it's not a drag act, it's yeah, yeah, I'm, play, yeah. I'm playing the mother. Well, you have to, don't absolutely. you, with Edna? That's yeah. the way it works. I mean, she's Mrs. Edna Turnblad. But off Londres. stage. Yeah. Off stage. You're not going like... out, any. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only on a Friday. <laughs> 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 off stage. People's reactions yeah. are so different. Everyone comes up and touches you. Yeah. yeah they all want to get a bit of a feel and have a look. And. <laughs> I know you want to do it now anyway, I'm not having to the exclusive address. Um, and and you, you, people just don't know what to do, because you can say the most outrageous thing. I know you can. As you knew when you did it. 25 years of doing it, no real. I mean, but uh, don't you find the costume strange, cumbersome? Well, because with mine, I have to wear this, this fat suit. Um, you must be in agony. And look, you dad that that in the other one, didn't you? In the other yeah, show, you there was a difference. The difference yeah. was um, with, uh, with Count Fosco, Woman in White, it was arms, legs, everything, yeah. and prosthetics all yeah. over the face. This yeah. time, because I'm so fat now, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I could, You're I'm looking off. really well. I'm bonny. I'm, I stopped You're bonny. I'm That's bonny. the word, bonny. I'm yes. bonny. Because yeah. I had to put on weight yeah. for this. Yeah. Because she's, she's low cut and bare arms. Yeah. So I do a bit of shaving. Yeah. But I don't have all that... Um... <laughs> don't come out now. Whoa. Oh, yes. You have that dilemma. Do you wax? Do you shave? Uh, don't have any waxing. Well, no, I didn't. It's I, I, absolute I, agony. Is it? I only ever did it once. I, I, I saw so. I mean, it just it seemed like the wrong move. It's just, I mean, oh, just, no. It's I not, don't know how they do it. It's a torture, though. I mean, it is. You know, like, and there's women who go willingly and have, well, I'm fellas, and they have bits and pieces of their yeah. body waxed. And quite delicate bits and pieces. <laughs> Michael, that shouldn't be touched, let alone waxed. No. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, you've had wonderful crits. I mean, you I just... I, I think someone went out and wrote them. They're love letters. The they They're are, love they letters. are love letters. And uh, we're at the Shaftesbury Theatre, which has notoriously, for the last few years, not had yeah. successful shows running there. So this was a risk putting it there. And everyone in the business is talking about the curse of the Shaftesbury. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of broken. Yeah. I mean, touch wood, God yeah. willing. The houses are, are yeah. amazing. I defy anybody to go into that theatre and not come out feeling better. The show is, is, is a brilliantly crafted show. Yeah. It's a wonderful performance from the cast. Leanne Jones, who you'll see later, who plays uh, Tracy. She's a, is she a fairy is, tale. She is absolutely yeah. a fairy tale story. Yeah. And the story of Tracy is, uh, is Leanne's story. Yeah. This lovely, beautiful girl inside and out who doesn't fit the normal conventional shapes yeah. and sizes, but doesn't care and is happy who, who she is. Yeah. Uh, and changes everyone's minds and everyone's opinions about what what is right and what's wrong as far as looks go. Uh, she's just amazing. I'm dying to see her because I, I was supposed to go to the press. Yeah, nights. where were you? I had the flu. 
No, I did, seriously. Oh, okay. I'd, didn't I have rotten float? Well, I'd rather, you, I'd rather you didn't come and give it to us. Well, exactly. So. You know, and yeah. I don't I miss that hunch like Gollum sniffing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's, yeah, rubbish. Up, uh, everybody <laughs> else up having a ball, and I'm yeah. going, oh, I don't no. feel well. But, it, well, I mean, f f opening nights notoriously are... Awful, difficult. Awful, yeah. I've never known one like it yeah. because we did quite a long rehearsal period, a, a preview period, about three weeks, yeah. and we'd got this this incredible vibe from the audience. Yeah. Um, and we went out there, and we just went. Do you know what? Whatever they say, it doesn't matter. Yeah. The audience are going to enjoy it. Let's just enjoy ourselves. Yeah. And we were not overcome by. But that the, comes over the footlights. That when you've got a it cast really who are having a it ball, really you feel it in the theatre yeah. when you're watching yeah. the show. And a lot of them, a lot of them are kids. It's their first show and they've the the, the, the americans who came over we it, it's an entirely british cast but all the american creative team came over yeah. and drummed us so hard yeah. to make us as tight and as uh, slick as an american chorus line yeah. and and it's absolutely worked it's, a, it's a wonderful oh experience. i'm coming I'm, yeah, listen no i've had mates who've been to see it who've just raved oh, you know so and pleased. have been singing all the songs and driving yeah, me yeah. insane and i yeah. feel like i'm not a member of a club you know what I mean? Because yeah, they've you, all been to see it. Well, you need all, to be. Yeah, and they're talking about it, and I'm going, oh, Johnny, no mate's here. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like neck in Mel Smith? Okay. Do you have a baddy first? <laughs> or do you just go straight for the general anaesthetic? <laughs> no, the cane. No, I, 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 had, I, had to, I had to have a serious word with him. Because I just, as I said, I gave, I gave up smoking in February, and I'm now a bit funny about it. And uh, he smokes cigars. Uh. Yeah. Minging. Uh minging cigars and was coming on in rehearsals and I'm going uh, uh, no you I couldn't kiss him uh, so I'm I mean it, it wasn't the most delightful of prospects in the first place like kissing a bloodhound <laughs> wouldn't it uh, so I was throwing breath mints in it you know? uh, and now bless his heart he does the old list of it. I, he, I've turned into his wife yeah but, you have that really <laughs> nagging old chap the other day the other bless his heart the other day he came in <laughs> and he was all going, yeah, and I'm in the full, as you'll see in a minute, in the full, in the full gear as, uh, of Edna. And uh, he's on my finger, and he'd snagged his fingernail. And I said, oh, come here. A Wicklow is so, that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I cut the fingernail, and then I'm filing it for him. <laughs> in the whole bit, but in the, and I went, okay, Mel, this has just gone too far. We crossed that whole line. Michael, you're only pretending, you know. You yeah. don't have to, like... But the thing is, he's so rich, I'm hoping for alimony. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come to court and give evidence. Yes, <laughs> that woman, shoddily. <laughs> Shocking. Do you know what I love about this, Adi? Oh, you... Anyone who had a heart. Thank you. I love that song. It's a great I song. I absolutely yeah, love yeah, yeah. that song. The thing about Baccarat, they're yeah. all brilliant songs. And ch it's choosing just 12 of them yeah, yeah. That, that work. And, and making them fit today and yeah. giving them new, new arrangements. They're lovely. I'm the really arrangements are fabulous. This. Thank you. Where did you find the time when you were rehearsing for this? I had about 20 minutes in between. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I had the, I had the, the, the summer. I was, I was scheduled to do and I had to do it. And it was a joy to do. It yeah. was easy. I mean, what we do isn't always work, you know. It, know. It's what we do anyway. And the idea of sitting around with great musicians yeah. in a studio and singing what are just fantastic songs yeah. and getting it right and knowing that you're going to go off and dress up as Edna Turnblatt. <laughs> you know, it's just been the best year of my life. Michael, it was really like nice. me this week. We had a Heidi High special. I died and went to heaven. Oh. Seriously. When I saw Ruth Maddock dressed up as Gladys Pugh telling me to get my hands out of my pockets, I nearly wet myself. Oh, I, I mean, it's only little things, yeah, isn't it? It's but absolutely it's true. Just, it's just, absolutely just, true. This, you this, see, I mean... For Leanne, what's been lovely to watch her journey, doing things like she was asked to go on, on the sofa this morning, and was just so... Exactly. Saying so, things that we would take for yeah, granted. Yeah. Meeting you today. Oh. She was just beside herself. Really? All the car star. Oh. You know, it's, it's stuff like that. that you, it is, you know. It's my reputation in the West End, so... <laughs> But you, we, uh, take it, round stage we take it for granted, but being able to watch it happening yeah. to someone who really deserves it yeah. is lovely. And then for us, there are still things that happen that make us go, oh, we're in this oh, business, the time, and aren't we lucky? Yeah. Yeah. Just an extraordinary experience. Well, look, we've got a clip of you here singing your version of The Look of Love. Oh, great. Yes. Right. Bert, please, if you would, leave it alone, put the tape on. <laughs> <laughs> Song. I love that. Back well, yeah, he's written the um, the next chapter of the Great American Songbook. Yeah, single-handedly. Yeah, they're they're, they're timeless songs. They're, they're perfectly yeah. uh, constructed songs. They're the songs that are good for performers like me, actors, because yeah. they they, they yeah. have lyrics that you need to think about. Act out. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together, Mr. Michael Ball. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Now, have you got to get ready? Yeah, I've got to go and I do it all myself. Okay, so I'm going to nip off. Go on then. Now, Michael's going to get ready. 
Come on. Say it like that.